Greetings and Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to Brock Talk 2018. I'm your host, Pamela Shambo. Brock Community Action has been offering hope and opportunity to Rutland and Bennington County residents for over 52 years. One way we're able to offer that hope and opportunity is to raise much needed funds through community events. One such event is happening later this month, Rutland's Newlywed Game, proceeds of which will benefit Brock's Community Food Shelf, Rutland Community Cupboard, and the Salvation Army to feed local families in need. To talk with me about the event, I'm pleased to welcome to the show Eric Millette, Programming Director at the Paramount Theatre, Steve Costello, Vice President at Green Mountain Power, and the incomparable Mr. Ed Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, gentlemen. I'm so excited to have this show on today. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So, Steve, uh, why don't we start with you and have you uh, kind of give a little history of how we kind of came up with this. Sure. Well, over a decade ago, we started Pack the Paramount with the Paramount Theater, with Eric and WJJR. Mm -hmm. And for years, we were using that as our uh, springboard for collecting food for the local food shelves. And the gimmick was to fill every seat with a box or bag. It kind of lost its energy after, you know, more than a decade of doing it. And we wanted to try something new. And after the food shelf opened, or I'm sorry, the food bank opened in Rutland, we really thought raising cash could be a lot more valuable than collecting a lot of food that then had to be sorted. So we came up with this idea. Eric actually came up with the idea last year to do the Pack the Paramount newlywed game. And we had a great event last year, one of the funniest things I've ever seen on the <laughs> Paramount stage. Absolutely. And we're back for year two. And I just think that um, with uh, the excitement that we had with it last year, I know people started talking about it right after about, are you doing it again? Are you going to you know, make this happen again? So, um, and Eric, I know you'd put a lot of the work into the background of this. So why don't you talk about a little bit about what happens at Paramount when we try to put this together? <laughs> when we try to put this together? Oh, boy. No, uh, when well, we put this together. You know, the truth is really it boils down to the couples, I think. Right. And, and their willingness to really take this ride with us. It's a, it's a big risk as a couple to jump on stage Absolutely. and be asked questions. I mean, we all have seen the TV show. We know what these questions can be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the couples have really, I thought, taken the ride with us. Ed, you were, you and Fran were there last we year. We were there last year. I'm much more comfortable doing what I'm doing this year. Than <laughs> I, well. I think Fran said the same thing. Yeah. It took me about a month to get her to commit to that. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize I that. Initially, had talked about that. Yeah. And I went home and said, "Hey, how would you like to do that?" I said, "No way. <laughs> I'm not doing that." But after about a month of prodding, I got her to do it. So it was. It but it fun. turned out great. Yeah. I mean, you guys were one of the funnier couples, and uh, everybody was great, though, especially She's our, a hoot. Uh, <laughs> last year, our, our, our little old, uh, uh, oh, what, Centinis, Centinis. Yeah. the Centini oh, they couple, were they were too. great. Mm -hmm. So this year, though, we have eight new couples that are willing to put their marriage on the line, shall we say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you could say that, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, why don't you tell us who those are, Steve? Well, we have really eight wonderful couples from all walks of life, from all different parts of the community. I don't know that I'll remember all eight, so help me I out will here, guys, it, if yeah. necessary. But uh, Trish and C.P. Bartenstein, mm -hmm. um, longtime couple here. Uh, Henry and Kim Heck are going to be participating. Henry and many That's people. That's the know, one I'm looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, many people know Henry as the the city clerk, and everyone knows Kim from her work in the restaurant business yes, and more absolutely. recently in the diamond business. Um, we have Dan and Leslie Denges from Vermont Sport and Fitness, a young couple, members of Rutland Young Professionals. Um, we have Russ and Renee Marsan uh, from Carpenter and Costin, who are going to be, I guarantee, right. hilarious. Great. Um, love that. Love them both. They're good friends, and Renee does not have a filter. Oh. So it will be very, very interesting to, to see what they say and what they come up with for answers on the show. Um, you guys want to jump in, or shall Let's I keep see. going? Oh, please. Yeah. No, you were doing great. I want to start getting into this. <laughs> so we have, uh, we've got 25 Kate. more minutes to go. You <laughs> yeah, can just yeah, take it all. Yeah. Yeah. Kate uh, and Dave Tibbs. Right. Uh, Uncle Dave. And, and right. Kate is know. looking forward to this uh, tremendously. She keeps, you know, we're, we keep uh, making sure she's got that spark to get up she, there. She's, she's nervous, Brock, but she's going right? to do it. She's, yes, she yeah. is a Brock Community mm -hmm. Action uh, our hoarding specialist. Yeah. So um, it's um, going to be really, really great with them. We also have Carrie and Ann Tomasi, yes. who are actual newlyweds. They've mm -hmm. only been married since uh, last summer, and right. they're going to be really, really fun. Um, I may get these names backwards. Uh, Jean and Fred, yep. uh, Garrow and Jennings, 
and um, they're going to be, everyone knows them. Um, they've been around the community for a long, long time, and they're going to be a lot of fun. Well, of oh. course, oh, Missy, Missy and Mike Delahanty. <laughs> everyone knows Missy from here at PEG TV. You know, y'all, you forget the great ones. Now I made right. the connection. Oh, that's right. Uh, what a spin and artist. Good they job, are, Steve. They are going to be great. They were on JJR the other day, and Terry was still talking about it this morning on his show. Yes, he Because was. they were so funny. Well, we are looking forward to that, Missy. I'm, I'm, uh, I was trying to get a camera to go on you when we did that. <laughs> didn't work out. But um, it's going to be a really good time. And I know that um, when, when we look at this and we want to fill the seats, we decided to um, raise the price a little bit this year to make sure that, you know, it's quality entertainment. It's not something we're just putting out there for $10. So I think that... Um, you know, with ticket sales going pretty well right now, and we're, we're, what, three weeks away as of today. I know the show will run uh, throughout the month, but um, as of the first run, we're three weeks out, and uh, I know we're going to fill it. It's going to be a really great night. And um, Ed, I don't know about you being MC. I'm, uh, we haven't even shared questions yet, as far right. as I know. First of all, I, you know, you didn't have to raise the price on my account. <laughs> I, That's, know, why. I, <laughs> That's why. That's um, why. But... Uh, I said before we went on, I think I'm a little bit more comfortable doing what I'm going to do this year yes. than I was last year as one of the contestants. It's not the easiest thing to do. No. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and I think as you roll through it all, you know, you start to get a little bit more comfortable as the night goes on. Right, but, right. Um, it's, uh, it, it can be a little bit nerve-wracking when you're waiting for that MC to ask you that question, right? You know, and uh, and I will say that last year, my wife and I sat at home and we went through as many questions oh, no. as we could, <laughs> and we tried to figure out what questions were going to be asked. And um, oh, how, you know how, how couples closer how together? together. <laughs> how could <laughs> answer? Event. And and I will let you in on this little secret that she still ribs me about. We were talking about uh, well, if they ask you what a noise. What annoys me the most about you? Mm -hmm. Here's the answer that you have. To give. Oh, she was giving oh. you the answer to say. Okay. And I don't know why annoying was the re was the thing that came to the top of her head. Oh wow! But, but and then they did they ask, ask that, didn't and they? And then and then they asked me. Now it was the day of the show, mm -hmm. and she said, "So if they ask you anything about annoying, you know, when you drive and you go, I don't know if you guys oh, remember, I remember that. that. They're on yes. lane. When, yes. when you know, I'm in the left hand lane, and I yes. have to get past that car before I get off at that exit, and you know, and it's one of those things. She says that annoys me so much, and I said, "Okay, well, I'll do that." So about. I don't know, six, seven hours later, they're asking me that question, and I, I draw a blank, <laughs> and I can't remember anything about it, you know, and she's like, she's like, come on, we talked about it, and I just didn't remember, so, oh, yeah, but friend. we did well, we, we, I think we got two out of six, yeah, it, yeah, and after 50 years, that's not too bad in my book, <laughs> well, that's the, that's the beauty of this, it's all going to be a surprise, I mean, you'll certainly get a, a you know, we're going to put the questions together and uh, yeah, share yeah. those soon with you, but yeah. not with uh, the couples. And that's oh, yeah, they won't it. know anything. That's the, yeah. that's the craziest that's the part of the yeah. whole thing. It's, it's pretty fun, though. So I assume that uh, as an MC, you're going to kind of rock this with some joking around and trying to get into what the couples will be. Uh, well, you know, uh, I, I happen have to, to be feel, one of the most. Feel them out. I'm hap I happen to be one of the funniest guys I know. <laughs> <laughs> But I may be the only one who feels that way. Uh, no, I, you know, yeah, we'll have a good time. I'm, I'm hoping to be able to connect with everybody that's on that stage with me and horse around with them a little bit. Right. And I've already gotten some uh, pleads from some of the contestants over social media. Oh, really? Asking me to be nice. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now, does that want to make you be nice, or does that want to no. make you go the other direction? You yeah. just wait. I think I wrote back. <laughs> Well, so. that's, you know, that's the beauty of this. It's all nice and surprising, and the audience will, will love every question that comes out, I'm sure, this year. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. And sure. Uh, the answers, and then watching the contestants, like, you know, when somebody gets it wrong, I think that's the funniest thing for me, because then you, you do get the old, like the old show with hitting with the card and, and all that, and uh, um, we just had some really good good uh, reactions last year. We did have fun last year, and... and uh, there were there were a couple of questions, but uh, that came to other people that I was so glad didn't come to me. <laughs> <laughs> to the women, you know, that uh, I was glad they didn't come to me. But as far as the questions go this year, you know, I'm pretty much in charge of that. After uh, we decide which questions they're going to be, and I'm 
really happy about that part of it. So. Well, we're very pleased that you agreed to be our, our Master of Ceremonies this year. It's well, I haven't done anything for like a month and a half, so I'm that's like... Right. <laughs> so, so you'll be ready uh, to get out there and I'll be, ready, be public yeah. again. Yeah. I think After, that's wonderful. Uh, what was it, 25 years I was Jeez. on the air here in uh, Rutland and uh, finished up my 44-year radio career on uh, 94.5 The Drive. Wonderful. So, you know, it was That's a lot fantastic. of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it, was wow. a, it was a great day. You know, it was. It was a lot of fun. By. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I basically since that day, I haven't done a darn thing <laughs> except recuperate. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting back out there and doing what I like to do. So. Well, we're also, you know, the beauty is we're going to have a meet and greet coming up. Um, again, I know the show will run after we have the meet and greet, but it's nice to mention that the couples and all the committee members, um, which include other people than, than just the ones here, are going to meet and get to know each other a little bit before they, they even go on yeah. stage. So you'll hopefully have that opportunity to chat with several of oh, them. Oh, yeah, and, and it'll, uh, it'll be fun. Yeah, because that... And Get a little bit of feel of how they they're going to react, you know. Yeah, and it's a it's a great idea. I mean, last year when we did that, everybody got to know each other a little bit before. Yeah, they can all commiserate on what, what what it is they're That's about the to time. walk yes. into. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Eric, how do people get tickets? You can give some Two info ways. on that. At ParamountVT.org. That's probably the fastest, easiest way. Print the tickets right at home. It is assigned seating, so you get to choose your specific seat. Mm -hmm. uh, don't think movie theater. You're actually going to walk into your specific seat. So, ParamountVT.org. Visit the box office right at 30 Center Street. That's right next to the theater or 775-0903. And I know that uh, all of us have shared it on our social media pages. So um, you can also go to the event uh, page on, at Brock Community Action and find the link to there too. I've put it on our website. I've put it on Instagram. It's everywhere. So as far as I know, people have a way to, to reach out and uh, purchase their tickets to see their favorite couples that are going to be up there kind of, you know, letting it all out in front of, uh, we'll say, hundreds and hundreds of That's people. Right. Yeah. Um, we should ahead, really Steve. encourage people to get them now if yes. they really want to go. Um, mm -hmm. We were talking before that we started taping, and the downstairs is close to sold. Yep. Um, I think there may be a couple dozen tickets as we're filming this left downstairs, and then uh, you know, there are some tickets already sold in the lo loge as well. Um, so if you want to be there, don't don't wait don't till wait the last too long. minute. You know, and uh, I think it's it's fun. We keep talking about who the couples are, but the truth is, you don't necessarily have to know anybody who's no. on no, that stage. No, absolutely not. To enjoy right, yourself, right. just the reaction right. of when somebody gets an answer wrong. When they get it right, that's sort of a little celebratory. Oh boy, I'm kind of backstage with my fingers crossed, hoping you get it wrong because boy, <laughs> that slap across the back of the head is pretty yeah. funny when the answer isn't. But you know, the funny thing is, I was watching folks last year. You might get an answer wrong, but there was always sort of this conciliatory look on the uh, on the other's face, kind of like, you got it wrong, but actually that's probably the right answer. <laughs> I thought that was a little interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're right, though. You don't have to know any. I can no. attest to that. My mother came last year by herself, had a great time. She, she um, I, I never thought she would like to go to uh, an event like this. But I, you know, I invited her, and uh, she just had a blast. She talked about it for a long time. I, so, I had people for literally the two weeks after this tell me it was the funniest comedy thing they had ever seen, literally ever in their lives. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know if it was that great, but it was really, funny. <laughs> I don't really think it funny. was that great. It well, was I, funny. as far as being the funniest thing they've <laughs> ever seen. But I, I'm in the same boat. I, yeah. uh, I had people that I know uh, say to me, you know, that we have to go again mm -hmm. because uh, it was so funny. And it's just got to get better. I right. mean, it was so funny last year. It's just got to get better. There's well, a lot so. of great Rutland events that have community members in them. Right. You know, there's a really big show. There's Dancing with the Rutland Stars. Uh, oh, gosh, I'm going to miss, be missing Lip some others. Lip-sync battle. Uh, Lip-sync battle. And taking nothing away from those events, but those events are all, they're rehearsed for months and months. Right. People walk on stage. They know what right. they're going to be doing. What's really great about this event is it's completely organic and on the spot. The only thing Absolutely. that's drawn up is the fact that here are the questions. It can go in any direction from there. That's yeah, right. That's a good point. Yeah, that's that right. is a good point. I hadn't thought about that. We don't rehearse this. We no. just we just bring them in to show where they're going to sit and such. Right. But no, that's there's the extent no rehearsal. of our rehearsal is where that's you it. sit. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I think people are going to enjoy the set this year. We've uh, uh, we're going to use some what I call retro. Um, furniture from over at Green Mountain Power and make it kind of look a little bit more like the uh, 70s set. And They're not electric chairs, are they? Well, no, no. you know, you don't know. 
it is a it will be a cool set and, and yeah. the questions we've been working on a little bit already I'd say the the script such as it is is about 90% written but really Ed is going to have free reign to correct other than the specific questions to say and do whatever he wants and follow up and oh, man, I can't uh, wait. it's a little scary but it'll be fun I mean you know I'll um, I've already got a few ideas for a few people. Oh, I'm sure you do. You know, <laughs> I'm sure so you do. It'll be fun. Um, and and the, uh, the like, I like what you said, Eric. Is that this is it's local couples, but they have no idea what they're coming into, other than we've asked them to be a part of this, and that in the end they're helping feed Which local families by the ticket to sales. them, right? Oh. I mean, I don't think there were many couples that we asked that said no and if they did they said no because they were going to be out of town or something like that right so really big kudos to these couples that said yeah sure i'll i'll, I'll risk it yeah i'll risk 30 years of <laughs> happily wedded bliss to go on stage and, and i will tell you myself. they get over it yeah so you know you don't have to worry too too much about that in that regard you know it's really take, funny the other look at missy the audience can't yeah. see yeah. but missy's yeah. chewing <laughs> her <laughs> fingernails they right now her. as she's listening yeah. to all this thinking what did i get myself into <laughs> that's the beauty You'll of this we have it. her right here but she's still not finding out very much about <laughs> what's other than being there you're gonna have a blast trust us missy Michael, be, Michael be watching this going, yeah. oh, God. <laughs> Trust <laughs> us, Missy. What? Famous that's, last that's words. Famous last words. That's right. Trust us, Missy. Yeah. If, no. if you didn't see it last year, but you've seen the show, it is going to be exactly like the show was. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it is, I guarantee every couple is going to get asked a question about their whoopee life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and last year, one of the questions, just as an example, was uh, we asked the, the women when the men were off stage, um, if they were to describe their husband when they make Whoopi, would he best be described as a slow sloth, a fast jaguar, or a big teddy bear? So that kind of gives you an idea of the kind of questions people and are like. And now just turned off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And, and we know, got all three answers. And we did get all three <laughs> answers. <laughs> um, uh, the, and, and the other thing is we put the scores right up above on the screen there so people can kind of track what's going on right. you know and root for their favorite couple by by we get some questions in and and uh, how many they're getting right and such and um, you know last year it was um, the Hubners yeah. that that won oh and, that's right and uh, they were able to uh, walk away the winners but close second were, were the Centinis I was I have to say I was rooting for them they're such a nice couple yeah they what was it like 65 60 years, something years of marriage mm -hmm. and and they left and I've seen them since and they still think it was the best thing they ever did so that's great. you know when you when you hear it from a couple that's been married 65 years that's that's well, a when really you heard their good. answers there was no mystery as to how they made it 65 years oh, their no answers were some of the sweetest answers yeah. right. and the most truthful answers there was right. no mm -hmm. baloney in what Mr. Santini or Mrs. Santini? There, Not was, at all. there was a question toward the end of the night with them, and it may have been in the playoff section. I think, Where yes. he was asked what size, or they were asked yes. what size yes. right. dress. And everybody, there was like this gasp throughout <laughs> the theater, you know. And uh, my wife and I were in the back, and... and uh, and you looked she at said, the label in her I, shirt? Well, well, no, I didn't. But, but what I was going to say is she said, he's been a tailor mm. since the day they mm. met. Right. There is not going to be a problem with this question for him. And he was, he was so sweet. And I think, didn't he say, like, she's a petite or something yeah. along those lines? A petite it was so My favorite well, answer or was. Something. Yeah, it was, yes. oh, he what was you, great. What would you get if, if, if God forbid, your home was, was on fire? Right. What, what item would you and save? And I would get her a sweater because it would be cold outside. Yes. It was the sweetest, most true thing <laughs> yep. I think yep. has ever been spoken on that What'd stage. What would you say so. on that one, Ed? <laughs> what were you saving? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Yes, me too. But <laughs> I just, uh, I, you know, those kind of questions are really fun. So there's some Oh, examples no, you know what? Missing. I wasn't part of that question, thank goodness. <laughs> that, uh, question, that, that question oh, it was, was the other later round. on. Okay, that gotcha. question included um, a couple, the, the uh, then arts leader over at Castleton, and uh, oh, yeah. Rich, oh, Rich Cowden, Cowden. Yeah. and Rich gave about a four-minute answer <laughs> yes, before yes. he finally said his answer, which was laptop, his yeah. laptop. But his explanation of all the things he weighed in trying to decide what to take off, the person behind me literally said to his wife, I don't know who this guy is, but he should be doing stand-up yeah, comedy. Yeah, he yeah, was so he was funny. Great. 
He is a funny guy. He is. Yeah. It was great. I still, his posts are great. I follow him on Facebook. He's still funny. Yep. Um, but so I'm just, uh, you know, at this point, we just want ticket sales. Let's get the people there. And uh, we're going to have a really good time with everyone uh, that's going to be on stage. I'd love to talk um, about the food a bit more. Yes, it's something please. that really kind of caught me off guard. You know, Steve mentioned it when we first started talking here, was the power of cash. Right. And my understanding is Brock can use this money and the other the other receiving agencies can use this money a lot differently than, say, I could at the grocery store. Right. We are able to go to the Vermont Food Bank and take $100, let's say, I'm just using a figure, and that would probably get us quadruple what you would get wow. for $100. Wow. Because of the way they are able to raise the food and bring it in, and they can give it to you at a much reduced cost. Say a box of cereal um, in the store is what four dollars now. It's ridiculous. Mm. We can get it for a dollar, say. So you can you can uh, get more for the dollar. That's and very cool. If you're if you're attending, if you're in mm -hmm. the audience, and you spent fifty dollars, you and, and and the person you went with, right, that becomes what, two hundred dollars yep. worth of food. So you, you can, can that's a great point, Eric. Yeah. That's a good thing to point out. That you want to look at it that way, you're you're really providing for these folks. And I'll tell you, it, you know, from our um, perspective right now, we are extremely busy in our food shelf every day. Mm. It just seems to be a big need, but you know, this time of year with the fuel assistance that's needed and and other costs that come in, kids on vacation. You know, that really does play a part when families need more food, is oh, when this, the kids are on vacation. The super cold weather we've mm -hmm. had probably hasn't mm -hmm. helped either. People right. have broken pipes and extra fuel yes, bills. Yes, we've and, gotten lots of those, unfortunately, too. But, the you know, in the end, that's what makes it great, is we're able to be there to serve. And the Community Covered and Salvation Army in the same way. We all are there to serve. Whether it's the same people or not, it doesn't matter. You know, if somebody's hungry, we're not going to let them go hungry. There's no reason to do that in our you know, in this day and age, right. when you have this opportunity like this to be able to stock your food shelf after raising, you know, last year we we raised uh, 25, I think, thousand, so. twenty five thousand oh. dollars in one night. You which know, becomes, for one night's which worth becomes a hundred. Yeah. Mm. So, I think in that regard, that's how people can look at this. The participants can look at it that way. The ticket buyers can look at it that way. You're in the end, you're feeding your neighbors, your family members sometimes, your coworkers, it could be anyone, and you just may not know that they're that much in That's need. That's right, and it goes so much further that way too, I think. You know, when you think about like a figure that you just gave, like $100,000, I mean, you could pack the Paramount with all of the things that we've done over the course of the last several years with right. a bag in every seat. And I don't know that you would be able to garner that much mm -mm. Yeah. for the food no. shelves no. if you did that. And, and so you I also, think that's what, what's the wonderful part of it. You know? the, the other great thing is this allows Brock and, and the other food shelves to spend the money on what they need. That's right. right. Or whether it's cereal mm -hmm. or Filling tuna fish or Correct. whatever, um, as opposed to having to sort you know, thousands of items that may or may not be in high demand. Right. And the beauty of that is we, we you know, um, most, I think uh, two of us at least, receive um, fresh fruits and vegetables and meat now from grocery stores. Oh. So we're able to supplement some of the, like a side dish, let's mm -hmm. say. You know, we like to provide a meal for a family now. It's a lot different focus than it used to be of just cans and, you know, go home and open the can of beans. It's not that way anymore at the food mm. shelves. And um, watching people go in and get to choose what they'll eat, we're not going to give them something they, they're going to, go outside and maybe leave on the side of the sidewalk. You want people to get things that they're going to actually provide for their family and eat and, and try to go more healthy. Um, that's a big focus right now with food shelves, you know, offering the healthy op um, options that they can come in and pick out. Um, but we, we welcome donations of any kind. I mean, we have people who come and just do a small food drive. They'll bring the cans. That's great, you know, because those do still help. Um, we have people that use those that are in hotels, motels, that are homeless, you know? They, we, they don't have anywhere to cook, so if we can give them a can of, um, you know, beans, I keep using because that's a, a good, you know, protein and good for people that, to have, um, that, that we at least did a little bit, you know? We do try to encourage them to come in for other services, for housing and such, but if they're in that position, we're able to provide something. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, it's just, a, it's an interesting, interesting fact. You know, at the end of last fiscal year, which was the end of September, we had provided for over uh, uh, duplicated numbers because people come back, but 25, over 25,000 individuals were served through Brock's wow. Community Food Shelf. You know, and, I and think that's that, just us. Yeah, and I was just going to say that very thing. I think that, you know, you think about the 25,000 that were served through Brock. Yeah. You still have the community covered. You right. still have the Salvation yeah. Army, and you right. have the need through those organizations as well. And uh, this event helps out all three of those groups. So those three organizations really are served well by the newlywed game, mm -hmm. by the Absolutely. old Pact of Paramount, which, you know, it, it's funny because, uh, as Steve said earlier, it you know, it's been around, the idea of this has been around a long, long time, but, it, it, you know, it takes on a different life when you do it the way that you're doing it now. And I think mean, right. it's just, this, this gives the community, uh, I, there were an awful lot of people who enjoyed bringing food right. to the Paramount. exactly. And the kids, I remember the kids would come mm -hmm. as we were doing our live broadcasts with the radio stations, and, and they would come and they would want to put the the bags in the seats, in the seats and, correct. and then they'd go yep. up and they would look they'd get up on stage and they'd look back and and they would see all the seats filled with food and that was really wonderful but i think people can get more out of the newlywed game and and brock and the salvation army and the community cupboard will benefit so much more the community benefits the three organizations benefit and it's a fun night and uh, i'm just glad that i'm going to be able to yeah yeah, I was going to say add to that, but I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I'm going to be up on stage. Right? <laughs> well, we'll find and, out. The, and the, um, uh, you know, the community <laughs> impact from something like this is just tremendous. Mm -hmm. And it spreads much further than just Rutland City. It's the county. It's, we have people come to the event from other areas, too. So, I mean, this isn't just because the three local food shelves benefit. This is an event to have anyone and everyone enjoy, no matter where you live. Uh, we want you there, and uh, I think the beauty is we have a lot of local restaurants downtown that people can make a night of it, go to dinner, come to the show, um, and I like to point that out. We did it in one post of uh, some of the local restaurants that you could um, um, make a reservation at to, to have a full night of it, and, yep. you know, last year it was around Valentine's Day, so it was a little more couple you know, romantic kind of go to dinner. Well, have it wasn't a show. that romantic in my house. <laughs> <laughs> no, they was just like, you don't say that, Ed. I can just hear Franny. But, um, um, but you know, the, even though we've moved it a uh, couple weeks back, I think it's still a great time of year to come out. You're cold. Come out and enjoy something fun and warm and and heartwarming. And you know that you're doing good for the community. Right. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Um, you know, I, I also think of this thing as it's a fundraiser, but I also think of it as a friend raiser for the three organizations. It's important to keep the word out about what the, the work you do and Correct. that the Community Cupboard and, and Salvation Army do. Um, you, do guys, you guys do really critical work in our community, and it's important for people to remember that, and this is another way of doing that. So, again, uh, we hope to raise $25,000, $30,000 on this one night, and the way to do that is to get your tickets at the Paramount Box Office or ParamountVT.org, and uh, come on out. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I think we're going to have a great time. So I really appreciate you guys coming on. I, uh, I, I think this is going to be a, a great show to have out there, and it will be streamed uh, at Peg TV On Demand uh, after a couple days here. So anybody can watch this. It doesn't, you don't have to have the Channel 15 to, to access this That's show. Right. So um, I will uh, get that link out to everyone, and you can share it out to your friends so they can see how you did. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much for coming on. Well, I was happy thank to be you. here. I don't yeah. know about you guys. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and that's another edition of Brock Talk.